Okay, so this is going to be a bit of a different video than I normally do. This is a video to coincide with my ranking for Pokemon Sun and Moon. I've decided I'm going to do one of these with each generation of Pokemon. When I cover a mainline Pokemon game, I'm going to have a separate video ranking the uh, Pokemon that are new with that generation. So with Sun and Moon, it looks like there's um, 80 entries. And I have, I use this website. This is how I made the rankings for the, the main purpose of the channel. And uh, it's, it's pretty easy. You just um, put in all of the things on your list into, um, into a list, uh, a new line for each item. And then you, you start and you just uh, pick left or right. And it, you do this so many times and it comes up with your order. Um, so I'm just going to be talking about each Pokemon here and, um, picking which one I like more a whole bunch of times. And this is all for Sun and Moon. So between Salazzle and Silvalli, um, Salazzle, Fire Pokemon, Silvalli, uh, kind of weird. <laughs> um, personally, I don't think Silvalli is actually that cool. I know some people like it, um, and Salazzle is kind of neat. So I'll pick Salazzle. Um, Do Piter and Salazzle hate spiders? Water spiders still not cool. Uh, Salazzle. Do Piter and Silvalli. Um, yeah, still hate spiders. I'm gonna pick Silvalli. Silvalli and Bruxish. Have you looked at Bruxish? I'm picking Silvalli. <laughs> uh, Do Piter and Bruxish. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to stick with Bruxish shouldn't have been made. Sorry to anyone that likes Bruxish, but oh my god, that's no, that's a no for me. Do Piter. Um, Silvalli and Zerkatry. Um, hmm. So Zerkatry is one of the, the, uh, is one of the Ultra Beast Pokemon, which to be honest, I don't really... I don't really like the Ultra Beast Pokemon. Um, they're, for people unfamiliar, in Sun and Moon, there's these Ultra Beast Pokemon. They're basically aliens that, for lack of a better term, we're calling them Pokemon. And um, Zerkatry is kind of like a cryptid looking weird thing. I don't really, I mean, it's supposed to be like a tree, but like an alien tree, and I don't, eh, I don't really like it. Um, so Valley. Man, we are starting off with all of the things I don't like in this generation. Um, Do Piter and Zerkatry. I am going to pick Do Piter. Okay, uh, Zerkatry is better than than Bruxish. Oh my God. Um, Magirna and Do Piter. Um, I like I like mechanics. I like engineering. I like gears. They're cool. I'll pick Magirna. Um, Magirna and Salazzle. Hmm. Um, that's tough. I'm going to give Magirna the slight edge, but it's close. Um, Delmi's, are you kidding? A, a, an anchor? That's cool. <laughs> um, uh, still cool on the anchor. Um, Decidueye, um, yeah, it's, it, you know, it's a starter, final evolution of a starter. Uh, it's the starter I like the most for Sun and Moon. Um, so, um, it's cool. Bird Archer. Yeah. Decidueye. Decidueye and Magirna. Decidueye. Decidueye and Delmi's. Hmm, that's a little tougher. Um. So, Delmi's. How do I want to put this into, how do I want to qualify this? Okay, so my favorite Pokemon type is Ghost. Delmi's is Grass Ghost. Decidueye is Grass Flying. It's a bird grass thing. Um, as much as I really, I just like Rowlet. I love his little bow tie and we'll get to that. But, um, 
Yeah, something about ghost anchor is still pretty cool. I'm gonna pick Delmi's or Delmi's, however this is pronounced. Um, Salazzle and Primarina. I don't like the Poplio evolution line. I mean, it's like, oh, look at the seal again. Eh. It's a Lazzle. Um, I still hate spiders. We're going to pick Primarina. Um, Primarina or Silvalli. Um, so... Yeah, I, I still don't really love Primarina. I don't love Silvalli, although it is kind of neat to be a normal type legendary Pokemon, which, you know, I hadn't really mentioned yet. But, um, I guess I'll pick Silvalli, but it's, I'm pretty non committal to both. Um, I mean, dragons are cool. Haka, or Hakama O is a dragon. <laughs> I'll take the Sijuai. Um, ooh, Magirna. All right, uh, Salazzle and Kama O. Um, let's do. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna pick Salazzle. I mean, is I dragons are cool, but um, Hakama O and and that whole evolution line to me is kind of like the most boring dragons so sorry if you like them but um fire lizard and i mean actual lizard as opposed to not dragon fire lizards so weird some of the typings <laughs> um i'm gonna pick salazzle um dartrix is the middle evolution for rowlet between um it and decidueye um I, again, I love Rowlet. Um, let me think. We still get some of the bow tie on Dartrex, and we start moving towards little emo kid instead of little preppy kid. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, Hakamo is still not that interesting, to be honest. So, yeah, we're going to pick Dartrex. Um, oh, Basidui and Dartrix. The closer to Rowlet we get, the more I like it. So I'm gonna pick Dartrix. Sorry, Basidui. Um, Delamize and Dartrix. Still, yeah, I'm still gonna pick with the the Ghost Anchor. Um, all right, here we go. Crabrawler and Hakama O. Uh, don't love Hakama O. Uh, I wouldn't say I love Crabrawler, but they're both they're both like. They want to punch you, and Kreb Rawler is way cooler at punching you. So I'm going to pick Kreb Rawler. Um, Decidueye and Kreb Rawler? Um, hmm, that one's closer. I'm going to pick Decidueye, because, I mean, like, this is really, I mean, what are we doing here? This is just another Krabby Kingler, but... It's another crab Pokemon. I'm going to pick Decidueye. Um, still like Gears. Magirna. <laughs> uh, Salazzle. Pick Salazzle. Um, all right. Cartana. Cartana. Um, Cartana is... Is that... I'm trying to think. That is a... Um, sorry. Some of, some of these ones I'm... I'm not as... I don't remember all of them as well as I probably should. Is that an Ultra Beast? No. Wait, yes? Yeah, yeah, that's an Ultra Beast. Um, so Cartana is actually kind of cool. Um, I don't. I did not like Zerkatry. Um, Cartana is kind of neat. Um, you know, basically a little, little ninja dude. Little ninja samurai hybrid kind of thing, but like origami. Yeah. Yeah, we'll pick Cartana. Um, I'll pick Decidueye. I mean, it shoots arrows. How many archers are there actually in Pokemon? <laughs> um, Magearna, because again, gears. Cool. Uh, Cartana and Salazzle? I think I'm going to actually pick Cartana here. The, the like, origami nature of its body is kind of cool. 
Um, Guzzlord and Crab Rawler. I'm picking Guzzlord. Um, so, <laughs> Guzzlord, I mean, yeah. It's, I mean, just look at that guy. It is quite a design. It's, it's, I mean, Dark Dragon, it's, it's cool. Guzzlord's going far, folks. Uh, Guzzlord is cooler than Decidueye. Guzzlord is, ooh, all right. So we have, we now have our first cool typing <laughs> matchup. Uh, Guzzlord is Dark Dragon. Delmize is um, Grass Ghost. Um... I think I think I'm gonna pick Guzzlord here, but it's really close. Um, <laughs> Pukumuku is fun to say, uh, so it gets bonus points for that. But as a design, um, I. <sighs> Oh, you know what? Hold on. Hold on. You're going to you're going to have pictures up here on the screen. I don't. Um so let me just uh make sure I'm Okay. Yeah. Um what actually is this? Is this just like a sea urchin? I don't remember. Yeah, we're going to pick Salazzle. Uh, again, Primarina, uh, your little circus whatever trope does not, does not, it's not interesting to me. Pukamuku. Pukamuku. Um, I'll pick Curb Brawler over here. It has more of an actual design. All right, Stuffle. We are picking the Stuffed Bear. Just, it's, that's going to happen a lot, just for the record. Yep, picking Stuffle. Ooh, still picking Delmize over Stuffle. Um, ooh, Stuffle and Dartrix. See, this is where it's like kind of probably close. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pick Dartrix here, but as a spoiler, Beware is probably gonna beat Dartrix. Uh, Salazzle and Comfy. So uh, there is something really cool to me about the Pokemon just being a flower ring. Um, and also I, I do like when they, when they make, um, excuse me, when they make designs that are very region oriented in a way that is, is actually, I mean, this is, uh, this means nothing, but in a way that is very cool. Um, I think that Comfy is done in a way that is very cool. Um, so I'm, I'm going to pick Comfy. Uh, Comfy and Stuffle. Ooh. Um. Oh, that's tough. Comfy and Stuffle. All right, I'm gonna pick Comfy again. Uh, and this is like, this is more of like a gut check, of like gun to my head, who's cooler? Um, I guess I'm going to pick Comfy. I don't really have a reason but it just feels cooler. I guess I like fairy Pokemon, but that doesn't mean a lot here. Uh, Delmize, again, Ghost Anchor. <laughs> How cool. Um, Dartrix and Comfy. Um, I'm going to pick Dartrix here. And route just evolving from Rowlet is doing a lot of work there, but Dartrix is still kind of neat. Crabominable and Salazzle. So, um, I'd had Crabrawler, but, um, Crabominable. Yeah, Crabominable is the, I'm making sure I didn't have it backwards. Crabominable is the evolution of Crabrawler and is way cooler. Um, <laughs> so we're going to pick Crabominable. Um, oh yeah, we're going to pick it over Comfy too. Uh, Delmize still. Um... Abominable or Dartrix. Um, still Dartrix. Necrozma or Cartana. So Necrozma, um, Ultra Beast, big legendary Pokemon, big deal in the game, big deal in the story. We're going to pick Necrozma. 
picking Necrozma. Still going to be Ghost Anchor. I mean, are you kidding? It's like part of a ghost ship, but it's a Pokemon. Um, I'll pick Necrozma over Dartrix. Uh, still don't like spiders. <laughs> Cartana. Um, still don't like spiders. Silvalli. Oh, goody. Spider versus spider. Um, let me just... All right. Yeah, yeah, Okay, so this is... Yeah, this evolves from Dewpiter. Okay. Um, yeah, Arachnid's way cooler. I mean, to be honest, this is this is actually a pretty sick design, even though... Ugh, God. Spiders. Um... um I will pick it over Primarima. It is kind of a cool design. All right, Trumbeak or Cartana. Um, let me see here. Yeah, okay, that is the middle evolution for for Pick and Pack. Um, it's just a bird, to be honest. Most of most of the ones that are like, what is it? Oh well, it's a bird. I don't care. Um, there are some. Um, in the last evolution for Trumbeak is is actually pretty cool, but uh, we're gonna pick Cartana. Uh, we're gonna pick Silvali. We're gonna pick Trumbeak over Dewpiter because spiders. Um, Araquanid is still a pretty cool design. We're gonna pick that. Congratulations, Pre Marina. You won one. <laughs> um, Kamo'o or Salazzle? Salazzle. Um, yeah, Raquinid over Kamo'o. Kamo'o over Dewpiter. Kamo uh, Primarina over Kamo'o. Hey. Um, Kamo'o over Trumbeak. Vikavolt. Uh, that's that's Charger Bug Evolution, right? Again, I am not seeing the pictures. Those are getting edited in. Yeah, yeah. Vikavolt is the uh, evolution of Charge a Bug. It's Electric Bug, uh, which is actually kind of a cool typing. Um, I generally don't really like bugs that much, but um, I don't know if I like. Uh, yeah, we're still going to pick Salazzle. It's, it's neat. Uh, we will pick Vikavolt over Primarina, though, because again, Clown Seal. I'm not. I don't care. Um, I also don't care about. Combo. We're gonna pick Vicavolt. Crabrawler over Vicavolt, though. I mean, Punchy Crab is kind of neat. Um, Pukamuku over Vicavolt, because it's cute. I mean, it's an urchin, but it's cute. Oricorio. Okay, so Oricorio is a very cool Pokemon with a lot going on. In a world of Pokemon of this generation with, with new concepts of having different forms of the same Pokemon a lot more than in other games and having the the regional variants um Oricorio is very cool uh, it's a dancing Pokemon that has different types based on different like Pacific Islander dances and just that concept is very awesome so, um, Oricorio is going far. Yeah, Oricorio, over, and, and it's interesting, Oricorio and Comfy, because they both are leaning into this, like, the source material, inspiration for the world, if you will, type stuff. Oricorio is way cooler, as much as I do like Comfy. Um, Oricorio is cooler than Necrozma, because Necrozma is just like, like, you look at it and you're like, that's a legendary Pokemon, isn't it? All right, moving on. Like, like, there's not actually, other than just being generically cool and stuff, Necrozma's not that interesting. But Oricorio, lots of stuff. So I know I just ragged on Necrozma for being generically cool looking, and Guzzlord is very much just kind of generically cool looking, but it's cooler. <laughs> I'm going to put Guzzlord over Oricorio. Um, again, Delmies, Delmies going very far, um, very far. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're picking it. Uh, Toracat, hey, finally, we have the third starter, uh, line involved. So, um, Toracat is the evolution of Litlit. Um, it evolves into, um, 
um, <laughs> I can't believe I'm blanking on this. Yeah, the big cat. <laughs> uh, I am going to pick Tora Cat over Salazzle. Cats are, I like cats. Uh, we're going to pick Tora Cat over Crabominable. Um, or or Corio over Tora Cat, though. Or Corio is awesome. Uh, Necrozma over Tora Cat. I mean, as cool as Tora Cat is, it is a cat. Um, Dartrix over Tora Cat. Like I said, I Rowlet is my starter for for this generation. So they're very comparable. Um, so Dartrix is getting a, a slight boost. Uh, Fomantis and Salazzle. So Fo Fomantis. Alright, there we go. Fomantis, yeah, yeah. It's just very leafy grass little dude. Um it's cute. It but like only kind of. We're gonna pick Salazzle. Araquanid, again, actually a very cool design as much as I hate spiders. So we're gonna pick Araquanid. Uh Trumbeak is just a bird and not even cute. So Fomantis wins. Um Primarina has more going on. You know, I'll, I'll give it that. Um, so, Primarina over Fomantis. Kamo'o and Fomantis. Again, Fo the whole Kamo'o line is just very generic fighting dragon looking people to me. It's, it's just... Um, oh my god. It is just worse... Um, this is just way worse Garchomp to me. Everything Kamoa wants to be is Garchomp. And, well, I mean, that evolution line across the board. And um, so, and it's just worse. So I'm going to pick Fomantis. Uh, Solgaleo. Um, excuse me, uh, a cover Pokemon that is a lion um, with the sun is its main. Yeah, Solgaleo. Uh, Solgaleo over Toracat, Solgaleo over Oracorio, um, Solgaleo, ooh, yeah, Solgaleo over Guzzlord. I like, actually, I really like the, the cover Pokemon in this generation. Um, Celestila is another Ultra Beast. Um, it's, it's Steel, it's Celestial, its name is Celestial Steel. It's, it might be the worst name in the generation, but it's, um, it's actually enormous and, uh, it is pretty interesting. Like with the almost Rayman, like floating arms, um, it, it's kind of cool. Um, I'm going to go with Celestila, uh, Celestila over Torcat, uh, Delmize again, just keep giving me the ghost anchor. Um, Necrozma is a cooler Pokemon than Celestila. Um, yeah, I don't actually feel an attachment to, to Celestila. I think it just looks kind of neat. Um, again, I have an attachment to Rowlet's line, so Dartrix. Shinotic. Um, so Shinotic is, um, a mushroom. Uh... Yep, a mushroom uh, Pokemon, fairy mushroom. I mean, <laughs> there is something to be said about some fairy mushrooms, you know? Uh, no, um, I, I actually like, I like all of the mushroom Pokemon. I think they're cute. I think some of them are like creepy, but in like an interesting, cool, and also still cute way. Um, I'm going to pick Shinotic. Uh, again, I don't really actually care that much about Celestia, so I'm going to stick with Shinotic. Um, I don't know how many times I need to tell you that the ghost anchor is cool. Uh, I wish this ranker would stop having me rank Delmize so that I can stop pressing it. Um, you know what? Shinotic over Necrozma. That might seem weird, but, um, the, there is something about, like, like, I can't rel- <laughs> This is, this might be the stupidest thing I'm gonna say. <laughs> I can't relate to this Pokemon. I can't relate to Necrozma. Um, it's just big, epic Pokemon from space. And um, that's all it is, which as a concept is a cool thing. But 
it's still just big Pokemon from space. Uh, whereas the the cool, colorful um, mushroom Pokemon Shinotic is cool. Um, it, I mentioned it's cool. Uh, so I actually really like how they used the design for it, incorporating it into um, Sword and Shield. I'll talk about that maybe um, when I cover that game. But the zone that, that they did that in was, um, I think, one of my favorite zones in that game. So I do really like Shinotic, if nothing else, for for that zone in a different game. Um, I'm still going to pick Oricorio. I mean, all of the different dancing forms of Oricorio was very cool. All right, finally, Rowlet. Little guy. Little, little, little guy with a bow tie. Preppy little kid. And then he grows up and gets depressed. And, uh... <laughs> I love Rowlet. <laughs> Little owl. Um, I love owls. Uh, I wouldn't say I love bow ties, but I do like bow ties. I love the idea of bow ties on Pokemon. So, Rowlet. Rowlet. Alright, sorry, Delmize. You are finally taking an L. It's Rowlet. Ooh, Solgaleo Rowlet. Um. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Um. That is hard. I mean, obviously, like, if we're talking about who would win in a fight, <laughs> it's absolutely Solgaleo, but, like, that's not really, to be honest. When, for most purposes, when I am talking about how much I like a Pokemon, I don't care how good it is at fighting. I'm talking about the visual design. Um, yeah, I mean, I... As much as I was like, it's cool that this is a lion whose mane is the sun. It, for being Pokemon Sun and Moon, it's pretty on the nose. And other than its head, it's kind of a boring design. Like if you really just look at it, it's that's a big cat. That's what it is. Um, I'm gonna pick Rowlet. Um. I don't really care that much about Lorantis. I mean, it's fine, but um, Gears, cool, Magearna. Oh man, um, so these are two Pokemon I don't actually care about. Um, yeah, I mean, so like Lorantis is clearly supposed to be like a praying mantis Pokemon, which we've already had, and I think Scyther is a better praying mantis Pokemon. Um, so I'm, I'm going to pick Araquanid. Not that, not that Araquanid is the first spider Pokemon we've had either, but I think it's a really cool design with the water thing. Um, again, Trumbeak is just a bird and a boring one. Uh, I'm going to pick Lorantis. Um, Fomantis, uh, evolves into Lorantis. Lorantis is way cooler looking. L Lorantis. Um, still don't care about Primarina and, uh, while Scyther is a cooler mantis, um, I'm gonna pick Lorantis. It's you know it's kind of like a like a cute, fluffy looking thing, which probably means it's way more likely to kill me, to be honest. But um, Lorantis, Wimpod is just another, <laughs> just another Metapod Kakuna. Um, and wait, wait, hold on. My do I have this out of order? Let me pull up Wimpod. Yeah, 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 I've got it right. So Wimpod is just another, you know, one of these things that is just, it knows Harden, and it's not cool about it. So, um, Cartana. Lorantis is cooler than Wimpod. I don't like Wimpod. Trumbeak, Zerkatry is goofy and dumb and horrible as you look. Wimpod is just not interesting. Uh, Zerkatry. Oh my god, do I have to pick between Wimpod and Bruxish? Um, let me, let me subject myself to Bruxish. Oh my god, no, I can't. <laughs> Alright, just for the record, I'm pretty sure that Bruxish is going to be last place of <laughs> Wimpod. Um, Rockruff. It is a dog, uh, that is, has rocks. Um, <laughs> Dogs are great, man. Uh, dog. Uh, dog. Okay, um, still gonna be, um, Ghost Anchor. But, ooh, Shinotic or Rockruff? 
I think Shinotic. Mostly, like, Rockruff's design is kind of just a dog. Like, there's not as much as I love dogs. There's not really anything fantasy about Rockruff. I mean, like, it has rocks at its neck looking like a collar. And he's cute. But, um, Shinotic is very fantasy. And, um, you know, I, I, I play Pokemon because fantasy monster pets. So, Shinotic. Um... Is Rockruff really gonna be the legendary? Um. <laughs> Ooh. So, alright, alright, so here's the thing. I'm gonna explain Necrozma a little bit more. I know I've talked about it a bit in this video. So, Necrozma, well, Sun and Moon, and I'm, this is gonna be touched on in the Sun and Moon video too, which you can find the link in the description below. I probably should have mentioned that at the top. Um. If I didn't, to be honest, I've already forgotten. So, Sun and Moon came out. There was those games. They're games. And then later they released Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, which is pretty much that game again, but there is some extra stuff. And so, um, I have not played Ultra Sun and Moon. Um, but I'm familiar with a number of the things that they get modified in there because of the card game. So Ultra Necrozma, which I'm not really considering to be a new thing. Um, Ultra Necrozma is actually pretty cool. Uh, but I'm not factoring it into Necrozma. Um, so I'm going to pick Rockruff. All right, Type Null is... Um, it looks a lot like Sylvali. Um, oh, that evolved. Is that, do I have this backwards? Yeah, yeah. Type Null evolves into Sylvali. That's why. So, um, so Type Null and Sylvali, I think. I don't remember. It's been a minute. I haven't gone to that in my recording. I probably won't. But um, there, you can give it an item to hold, and it changes its type. And that's a very cool design. And um, I'm pretty sure it does modify Soul Valley too. Again, I haven't, it's been, I mean, this game came out whenever it came out. Off the top of my head, I don't remember the year. Uh, it was like close to 10 years ago. Um, and it's just, I don't remember, to be honest. I never cared, I never did stuff with it. So, you know, please don't discredit everything I say by saying I don't remember if Soul Valley also changes types. I'm pretty sure it does, uh, but you you give it these things to hold, and it changes its type, which is a really interesting concept, because nothing else can do that in that way. There are some Pokemon that change their types based on things, like cast form changes with the weather, which is cool. I think cooler. Um, hmm. You know what's funny? I was saying I don't really care that much about Sylvalli. I actually like the design of Type Null more. Um, and the idea of it being a synthetic Pokemon, like, like how Porygon is a synthetic Pokemon, I think the name Type Null is a better name. Uh, I'm gonna pick Type Null over Kartana here. I'm gonna pick Type Null over Necrozma, because it might be the name, <laughs> which is a dumb reason, but again, it's one of those, like, just gut check things. Uh, yeah, Ghost Anchor. Um, uh, shiny, uh, colorful mushrooms. Dog. Um, Cutie Fly. Alright, Cutie Fly is a terrible name. And the reason for that is, I don't think it's cute. It's just annoying. I, I think it's because it reminds me of the... All right, so I've watched a lot of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. I have watched um, every episode of that show at least twice. <laughs> um, it reminds me of the, the um, oh my God, the little sprites. I, I can't believe I'm blanking on their name. People that have watched that show will know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's early on in the show, so like it might be, even be the first season. But the little sprite things 
that are like the cute little fluff balls that actually terrorize the town. It reminds me of those, which means to me, it's not cute. Um, so, gears. I'll pick Lorantis over it. I'm, you know what? I actually, I think I really just kind of don't like Cutie Fly. I'm going to pick Trumbeak. Circuitry. Alright, so, is, hmm. Wimpod does suck. Um... <sighs> All right, Wimpod, you're not going to be last, um, and that's because what you evolve into does a lot of heavy lifting for you. Oh, wait, no, Broxish is last. That's right. Cutie Fly, Cartana, Free Marina. Oh, wait, crap. I missed that we searched a Drampa. Well, oh. all right, well, I will. The picks I made were probably correct. Um, Drampa is going to be cooler than Dewpider. Uh, dr especially talking about dragons, Drampa's way cooler. Um, I mean, droopy looking, whatever. I mean, yeah. All right, hey, we hit our first Tapu, the Island Guardians. Um, Tapu Finny? Yeah, make sure I don't have the Tapus backwards. So yeah, that's the water one. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Cloyster, just cause like it like it almost has like a shell. Um, but no, I like I I like most, if not all, of the tapus quite a bit. Um, I think they're a cool thing. I think they're a cool world building thing. They're a little referential to some stuff with with the source material, the inspiration. I, I shouldn't really be calling it source material, but it is an inspiration for the region. Um, yeah, Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini over in um, Ghost Anchor. Um, not every Tapu is going to lose to Shinotic, but Tapu Fini is. Uh, Tapu Fini is going to be cooler than Rockruff. Lunala, all right. So, um,. Yeah, yeah, Lunala is the other cover Pokemon. So this is the cover for Moon, which I think is um, is my choice over Sun. And um, I think Lunala is stellar. I, I love Lunala. Um, it's a little less on the... I mean, the name is there, of course, but the um, it's a little less on the nose compared to Solgaleo. It's still, you look at it and you're like, oh, I see the moon thing going on, the crescents, the head shape, you know, when it when it spreads its wings wide, it is, you know, there's a lot of moon shapes here. But also, importantly, I like the moon. I like moons a lot. I have a watch that has, um, I have uh, a sun and moon dial on my watch. Not a, it's not a sun dial, um, but it has like a, a thing that, that rotates and there's a sun during the day and a moon at night and um it moons are cool i like moon shapes and stuff i mean i've talked about loving fantasia and the the, the wizard and their yen sid um and he's got his his hat has like moons and stars and moons lunala lunala sorry we are finally gonna make the um Yep, yeah, the, the the ghost anchor is going to lose to Lunala. So Galio, as I already mentioned, on the nose. Lunala, perfect. Lunala. Rowlet, I love you. Lunala. All right. Uh, Salandit is um, the, the thing that evolves into Salazzle, and it is way less interesting. Gears. But Salanda is kind of cute. And still a little fire lizard guy. <laughs> and we're going to pick it over. Over <laughs> over the circus seal. <laughs> um, I don't actually love Vickavolt that much. We're going to pick Salandit. Okay, so Salazzle or Salandit. Um, let me pull up a side by side here for me. You're, you've already got it on the screen. Um...
you know, there is something about Salazzle that is like a little like you're a little too adult in your behavior for a lizard. Whereas Salanda is just slithering around and being a lizard. Um, I'm gonna actually pick Salanda. Um, Kurtana is pretty cool still. I'm gonna pick that. All right, Oranguru. Um, big wise monkey with a palm leaf. That's great. Um, we're picking Oranguru. <laughs> Uh, we're going to pick Oranguru there. Um, Dalmize is still cooler, but I do like Oranguru. Uh, Shinotic or Oranguru. See, this, this is really close. Um, all right, let me... All right. I'm going to pick Oranguru, and this is why. Um, hopefully, I remember to edit this in. There is, um, the, the shiny Oranguru is like pink and, um, I think it looks fantastic. Um, let me actually look up shiny Shinotic cause I don't remember. Oh, that's not that interesting. Yeah. So Oranguru, I mean, it's different, but it's not that interesting. Um, I'm going to pick Oracorio cause again, I think they're very cool. All right. Cosmog. Um, yes, that evolves into, um, that builds up to be either, uh, right? Right. Wait, hold on. Let me not embarrass myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that evolves into, that evolves into your, your legendary, your cover Pokemon, depending on what you're, what you're playing. So, um, uh, and to be honest, it's just like a little... Little galaxy guy, it's really cute. It's great. Um, I like it a lot. Cosmog, Cosmog. I I'm gonna pick Cosmog. I I really like Cosmog. I'm gonna I'm gonna. Sorry, Rowlet. I love your bow tie, but Cosmog is just nebula looking and cool. Stars, night sky stuff. Um. Lunala is cooler. I mean, Cosmog becomes Lunala, but Lunala. All right, finally, we hit Beware. Uh, he's going to give you a big hug, and uh, that's what he does. And if you've watched the show for Sun and Moon, oh, my God, he just follows Team Rocket around and gives him hugs all the time, and it's great, and I love Beware. Um, yeah, Beware is cooler than Tapu Fini. Beware is cooler than Guzzlord. Just big hug bear. Ooh. Uh, all right, I'm gonna pick Cosmog over Beware. Mog over Beware, but it's close. I am also gonna pick Rowlet over Beware. I am gonna pick Beware over Solgaleo. Marshadow, um, another bear, but um, fighting, is it fighting dark? I feel like that's gotta be right. I mean, look at the name. Fighting ghost, that's right. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, punchy ghost boy. Yeah. We're gonna pick Marshadow. We're gonna pick that. Uh, yep, Marshadow's cool. Um, still Cosmog, because again, I, I like nighttime stuff. Um, we are gonna still pick Rowlet over Marshadow. We are gonna pick Marshadow over Beware. Uh, Charge a bug, finally. So, I mentioned I don't particularly love Vicavolt. Chargebug is so cute. It's like, like I love that it's blocky and it just looks like a big dumb nine volt battery, and it's awesome. I don't like bugs. I love Chargebug. We're picking Chargebug. Uh, Chargebug over Shinotic. Chargebug. Uh, beware over Chargebug, but it's close. It's close. Delmize over Chargebug. Oracorio over Chargebug. Um, Oranguru over Chargebug. So, Beware evolves from Stuffle, which Stuffle, I think, popped up earlier, right? I don't remember. Um, so, but but Beware is giving the big bear hugs, where Stuffle is, you're kind of hugging it. It's, you know, whatever. Cosmo M is the middle evolution between Cosmog and your, your cover Pokemon. To be honest, I don't actually like 
Cosmo M. It's very, it's just like, well, yeah, I see how it's going to be either one, you know, but it, it's boring. Um, Stuffle. Araquanid. Cosmo, I really, as much as I love Cosmog and I love Lunala and I pretty well like Solgaleo, I do not care about Cosmo in the slightest. Uh, Trumbeak. Oh, all right. I do like Cosmo more than Wimpod. Wimpod's very sucky. Um, Cosmo, I'm over Dewpiter. Uh, Moralul is the, the mushroom that evolves into Shinotic. Um, it's really cute. It's really little. I think I just, I kind of like that it doesn't have a mouth. Um, yeah, yeah, we're going to, we're going to pick Moralul here. Um, ooh, these are two cute little guys. Um, it's close, but I think I'm going to pick Moralil. Uh, and that's mostly because I like Shin Shinotic so much more than Vicamult. Beware, I mean, bear hugs. Ghost Anchor. Dancer. Uh, you know, Wise Monkey. Hey, we finally hit Incineroar. Um, yeah, Incineroar is big fire cat thing, and actually, like, it, it is it is another one of those weird, like, kind of humanoid-ish Pokemon. Little too humanoid. Shouldn't have thumbs. Um, but I'll take it. Um, yeah, Incineroar there, too. Um, I will pick Beware over Incineroar. Um, yep, Delmise, of course. Oricorio, of course. I'm gonna pick Incineroar over Oranguru. That's, that's very close, but I think that's, yeah. Okay, finally, Palisand. So we are, are, again, I love ghost Pokemon. My, some of my favorite ghost Pokemon are ones that are like, this is basically an everyday thing being inhabited by a ghost and uh palisand and um and the other pokemon associated with it is is it's it's a sand castle that's a ghost and this is sun and moon you know set in like pacific islands beaches it's so great um palisand 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 Probably still Rowlet, but that's that's actually close. Palisand, um, Rubbin. Oh yeah, that's the thing that yeah that evolves into Chargebug. So Chargebug, great because it looks like it kind of just looks like a bus. I mean it's a nine volt battery, but like nine volt batteries kind of look like buses. And uh, <laughs> but Grubbin is boring. Um, Comfy, Araquanid. Uh, Trumbeak's still a bird. Um, Grubbin. Drampa! Alright, Drampa, yes. Grubbin, Fomantis. Um, I don't really care about either of these. Uh, Grubbin, I guess. Litten! It's a fire kitten. Litten. Um, Litten. Beware. Ghost Anchor. Oracorio. Um, <laughs> do I actually like Litten more than Incineroar? Um, yes, I do. Uh, he's kind of sassy. He's kind of, you know, um, and, and again, the, the amount of humanoid, like the idea that Litten is, that's a cat. Tora cat is, that's a cat. And then Incineroar is that walks on two legs and has thumbs. I don't I don't really like that escalation that much. I'm gonna pick Lynn, because he's really cute. Um Alright, Serena. I mean we are trying we are cruising. Um trying to cruise, but it's cool. Um I don't like that Serena is like I mean I think it's supposed to be like a ballet dancer, but like this is way too humanoid, right? Comfy. Lorantis. I, d 
I don't. I don't want my Pokemon to be like sometimes some are cool humanoids, but like Lucario is a cool humanoid Pokemon, but Serena is not. Uh, Trumbeak. I don't love Zerkatry at all, so I'm I'm gonna pick Serena. <laughs> um, I also really don't like Cosmo. I'm, I'll pick Serena. All right, Wishy Washy. Yes. So Wishy Washy. Um, I thought I debated splitting up Wishy Washy between its forms, and I decided not to. And I'm gonna rank it as a whole. Wishy Washy is gonna do quite well. So Wishy Washy. Uh, when you when you in the game. Uh, wishy-washy you can encounter in two different types of forms uh, there's by itself um, or as a school by itself it's man that is just that's a fish it's, that's all it is it's a fish uh, but is a school it is like that scene in Finding Nemo where the fish that um, uh, swim together in formation to um, do like Sydney Opera House and, and, and all sorts of cool stuff um, <laughs> that's what wishy-washy does it swims as a school to to be a big imposing fish and i think that's so cool wishy-washy wishy-washy over oranguru wishy-washy over beware um ah uh, you know what wishy-washy over rowlet i really like wishy-washy i like that it does so many cool things we're still gonna pick lunala though um Wishy-washy over Cosmog. I really like Wishy-washy. So Glissopod is very cool. Wimpod sucks. Glissopod does something very unique. Um, Glissopod has an ability. Uh, it's like emergency eject. Basically, the first time it gets hit, it automatically switches out. And that allows for some really creative team building um, and cool stuff uh, in the competitive sense. It's... I normally don't care about competitive in Pokemon, but Galissapod is very cool. I'm going to pick Galissapod. This is... <laughs> Galissapod might wind up being the only thing that does well because of what the Pokemon does. I mean, wishy-washy, yes. I mean, it is for what it does. But this is, like... It's doing something as opposed to, hey, look at that. Um, so Galissapod. Galissapod over Marshadow. Yeah, I really like the design. I mean, the I don't love... The, it's okay, the visual design. But the mechanical design of Glissopod is so cool. I love Eject. Glissopod. Still Lunala. Um, Lunala is, I'm pretty sure, going to be first. Wishy-washy over Glissopod. Um, I don't really care about Bound Sweet. I mean, just like I don't care about the, the Pokemon we talked about with the looking too humanoid... Comfy. It's a um, it's a ring of flowers. I'll pick Lorantis over Bound Sweet. I will pick Bound Sweet over Serena because it makes me less uncomfortable. Um, Bound Sweet over Grubbin because I don't really like bugs, and even though I love Charge a Bug, um, Grubbin is whatever. Um, Bound Sweet or Primarina. Um, yeah, bounce speed is pretty boring, to be honest, so we're going to pick Primarina. Drampa, definitely Drampa. Comfy over Jangmo, oh, the whole O line, again, I, they're very uninspired, they're just bad Garchomp. Primarina over Jangmo, oh, Serena over Jangmo, oh, um, mm, yeah, Zerkatry over Jangmo, oh. Jangmo over Cutie Fly, I still don't like those. Jangmo over Wimpod. I don't like Wimpod. Uh, Sandy Gast. Oh boy. So Sandy Gast is is the 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 basic form for Palisand. Stuff the basic form for Beware. And I love both of those Pokemon. Um, I'm gonna pick Sandy Gast. I really like the little the little like kids shovel. It's so cute. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pick Sandy Gast over Incineroar. I'm gonna pick Sandy Guest over Marshadow. Um, Sandy Guest over Glissopod. I really, I really like these cute ghost Pokemon. Lunala, Lunala. Uh, well, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, Lunala. Um, 
Oh, this is tough. Wishy washy sandy gas. Um. Uh, wishy washy or sandy gas. I'm gonna pick sandy gas. Um, the main reason being, I have done more with sandy gas than games outside of Sun and Moon. Which maybe that's not a fair thing for ranking new Pokemon for the generation, but it's true. All right, Tapu Lele is my favorite Tapu. Um, that has nothing to do with the video games at all. Like it's the design is fine, um, but the card Tapu Lele GX in the, the trading card game, such a staple and so good. And I've played so much of that card; it's insane. I don't really play paper Pokemon um, TCG, but I have played. A pretty good amount online and my favorite formats expanded and basically I start every deck by for expanded by just throwing two Tapu Lele's in and then maybe bumping it up to three or four depending on what the deck needs by the end. Tapu Lele is great. Tapu Lele over Litten. Uh, Palace Sand over Tapu Lele. I mean I just said Tapu Lele is so great but like the thing I like it for is just what it does in the card game. <laughs> Palisand, I like the Pokemon. Uh, Tapu Lele over Solgaleo. Over Marshadow. Um, Buzzwool is a big buff B. Comfy is a small ring of flowers. Um, I am going to pick Comfy because, again, I, I think it's related to, like, liking ghosts that inhabit inanimate things i i know people like hate on like clef key and um you know stuff like that i kind of think they're fun uh so i am gonna pick comfy here but it is close um buzzwool way over primarina buzzwool i mean we're talking weird fighting things buzzwool's way cooler um, I like Buzzwool maybe a little more than Magearna, and I do like Gears, but yeah. Buzzwool over Stuffle. Uh, Comfy over Tapu Coco. Tapu Coco over Primarina. Um, Tapu Coco, Salazzle. Uh, Tapu Coco, I mean, the Tapus are pretty cool. Tapu Coco over Decidueye. Again, I don't actually like Decidueye. I think, this, <laughs> I think that the Rowlet line gets way worse when you hit Decidueye. Um, Buzzwool over Tapu Koko, because it's just, like, it's neat. Um, let's see, Tapu Koko or Stuffle. Um, Tapu Koko. Picky Peck is really just a bird. As much as I was, like, Trumbeak is a bird, Picky Peck is so much a bird. Uh, Buzzwool. Primarina. Zarina. Jangmo O. Oh. Still don't actually like Cutie Fly. Pick a peck. Don't like Wimpod. Pick a peck. Two Cannon. There we go. We finally hit the the Trumbull Pick a Peck final evolution. Two Cannon, which I mean, you could argue is just a bird, but I don't know if you've ever really seen a two can. And I don't mean I don't mean Fruit Loops. Um, their beaks are not that massive. Two Cannon is actually pretty fun. Um, I'm gonna pick two cannon here. Uh, I'm gonna pick two cannon over Litten. Palo Sand all day. So Galley over two cannon. Delmise over two cannon. Oricorio over two cannon. Turtonator is a fire turtle. Um, but so like, Turtonator to me feels like it was trying to be just an a Lolan um, camera upt. A little bit and they just didn't want to try to make a lowland camera up work but you'll notice by the way I'm pretty sure that I don't remember yeah yeah I did not include the regional variants for this maybe I should have um, but you know what when when this gives me the list I'm just going to manually insert the regional variants and for um, Sword and Shield and for Scarlet and Violet when I or er, yeah yeah um, when I do the regional things for them I will make sure to include them in the the head to head 
Um, I'm just gonna really easily slot them in. I have a pretty good idea of where the regional variants for um, the Alolan region are gonna go. So don't worry. They'll, we will be ranking a, a palm tree. Um, I'm gonna pick Buzzwool over Turtonator. I'm gonna pick Turtonator over Primarina because again, I don't care about Primarina. Turtonator is cooler than Salazzle. Decidueye over Turtonator. Um, Kartana is still neat. I like that it's like the, the, man, it's getting late. <laughs> the, <laughs> um, origami design. I think that's cool. Uh, Turtonator over Salandit. All right. Hey, we hit like and rock. So I can talk about another thing with forms. So like and rock um, will change form depending on the time of day. So you have midday like and rock, which is very boring, and you <laughs> and you have um, uh, midnight like and rock, which is very cool. Um, basically, I am going to be ranking like and rock as if it's the cool like and rock. Uh, like and rock is good. Like and rock is better than two cannon. Palace and still just I mean haunted sandcastle like. Come on. Uh, I'm going to pick Stilgali over Lycanroc. Delmise over Lycanroc. Oricori over Lycanroc. Toxapex. Um, yeah, I'm going to pick Toxapex over Buzzwool. I, I like the, you know, the, the, it's very region specific as far as like the marine life. Uh, Toxapex over Toucanon. Uh, Tapu Lele over Toxapex, because, again, I love Tapu Lele. Um, Guzzlord over Toxapex. Oricorio over Toxapex. Uh, again, we are ranking Lycanroc as the cool Lycanroc. Um, so, Lycanroc. Kamala. It's, um... Yeah, that's, that's the koala, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. It's it just it's a cute koala and it and it holds on to like like a drum looking thing uh which is cool i appreciate that it does the music um i am going to pick comfy here uh but i'm gonna pick kamala over lorantis i'm gonna pick kamala over salandit i'm gonna pick decidueye over kamala uh this one's tough kartana kamala I don't care about Marini. Um, Buzzwool. Eh, I don't care about Lorantis. Is the... Oh, wait, no, no, sorry. Sorry, I was saying something for just a hot second. I'm going to pick Lorantis. Um, Marini over Serena. Um, Marini over Grubbin. Drampa, again. Uh, I haven't gotten into Drampa, but so, like, if you've watched the new. the, the new Netflix. Pokemon show, um, blanking on what it's actually called, something Horizons, maybe, um, there is a character in there that he's just an old man that hangs out on the airship that the, the characters all travel on, because, because we're not with Ash anymore, uh, it's been interesting, but, um, and I am, my wife and I are convinced that he is a Drampa. Like, if you look him up, that's a drop up, and that alone, just the idea of like, it's a very sleepy looking dragon, and like, I like I like Drampa's design. It's very exaggerated. It's cool. Um, we're gonna do Marini over Bound Sweet. Um, Buzzwool or Mimic? Oh, Mimic you, Mimic you all day. So like Mimic you, if you don't know much about Mimic you, um, obviously it, it looks kind of like Pikachu. It, 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 um, it is a ghost Pokemon that wears a disguise. It doesn't have to be Pikachu, but just that's the design that, of course, they went with because, well. And um, so, so the, um, the idea is that it <clears throat> scares people if they see it. So it wears a disguise to not scare people. And there is one of the Pokedex entries. Um, I forget in which game because they're different depending on the game. 
Um, it basically explains that a researcher looked under um, a Mimikyu's disguise and died of fright. Mimikyu is so cool. And mechanically, it's very cool too. I'm gonna pick Mimikyu again. Um, the, uh, the first attack it would take um, in any fight, uh, it, it just bre breaks the disguise instead and it doesn't take damage. So it gets an automatic first hit shield, which is awesome. It's, uh, it's a cool Pokemon design. It is a great mechanical design that, that is married to the, to the aesthetic. It is competitively viable. It's fun. It's cute. Can't say enough great things about Mimikyu. Better than Tapu Lele. Better than Galissapod, which is another Pokemon that, again, I liked for its mechanical design. Um, better than Sandy Gast. You know what? You know, I was saying earlier, I think Lunala is going to be the number one. It's Mimikyu. Buzzwole is cooler than Poplio. Primarina is at least cooler than Poplio. Poplio is cooler. Than Serena makes me uncomfortable. I don't like him. Uh, Grubbin's better than Poplio. Poplio's better than Kamo. I don't like them. Poplio, Fomantis. Um, Poplio, I guess. Hey, we hit Young Goose. Um, I don't care about Young Goose. Um, I don't even know what it's supposed to be, if we're being honest. Buzzwool, Bree Marina, Serena. Wow, I really don't like Young Goose. Apparently, I didn't realize how much I didn't like it. I just don't care. Jangmo, oh. Wow. Wimpod, better. I still hate Cutie Fly, Young Goose. <laughs> um, uh, I don't like bugs and yeah um hmm. yeah that's just the evolution of cutie fly which it's just still cutie fly to be honest i mean if you ask me i don't i don't like it um tapu coco grandpa very cool um i was talking about how i don't care at all about cosmo i don't like cutie fly and ribombi um Pikapek is just a bird, and I like it more. Young Goose, we established I apparently don't like. Uh, I like it more. Oh my god, this is the worst. Um, I guess I will pick Rabambi just because it has a little more going on. Just a little. Alright, Tapu Bulu is probably the Tapu I care about the least. Tapu Coco... Um, I do like the Tapus, so more over Mariani or Marini, whatever, Tapu Bulu or Crawler, um, Crawler, uh, oh my god, Savali's still on the docket? Jesus. Um, yeah, assuming I was right in remembering that I can change the types on Savali, I'm gonna take that over Tapu Bulu. I'm gonna take Bulu over Lorantis, though. Um, Bulu or uh, let's pick a Raquinid. All right, Stuffle and Gumshoes. So I don't like. Yeah, I don't like Gumshoes either. Stuffle. Marini, yeah, Marini. Um, I I don't like Dewpiter. I'll pick Gumshoes. I'll pick Gumshoes over Fomantis. I'll pick Gumshoes over Grubbin. I'll pick Gumshoes over Bounceweed. Like those are just things that I just don't care. Uh, Mudbray is a horse. <laughs> I mean, we'd gotten a horse, like, like, this is a horse except blah, blah, blah. And now we actually just have a horse. Horses are cool. I'm glad we get a horse. I'll pick Mudbray. Toucanon, though. Exaggerated Toucan. Type Null, again, I, I like. Um, Toracat, I'll pick over Mudbray. Comfy over Mudbray. Buzzwool over Mudbray. Tapu Coco over Mudbray. Minior. Um, so Minior is, um, yeah, yeah. Yep. So Minior is a, a rock flying type, which is weird. Um, and, uh, it's, it's basically just a little meteor. Um, it's kind of a cool thing that it exists. I don't know if I care. It has created some, some cute art. Um, I like that it's different. 
but not in a way that's like feels like it doesn't belong. So I'm for its uniqueness, I'm gonna pick Minior. Um, I'm gonna still pick Minior for that. Tapu Lele over that though. Guzzlord over Minior, Oricori over Minior. Again, again, this is important. We are ranking Lycanroc based on the cool Lycanroc. Picking Lycanroc. I'm gonna pick Toxapex over Minior. Mudbray or Mudsdale. I'm gonna pick Mudsdale. I mean, it's the same Pokemon, but uh, Mudsdale is just better. Um, I'm gonna pick Minior over Mudsdale though, because again, the uniqueness of it is worth quite a lot to me. Um, Mudsdale over Rockruff. Orange Guru over Mudsdale. Charge Bug. I love Charge Bug. Little rectangular guy. Um, Shinotic, I, I obviously I like. Um, Tapu Fini, I like. Steeny, I don't care. Mudbray. Um, Marini. God, I don't care about Steeny. Uh, Cosmoem. All right, do I care about Steeny that little? Yeah, I do. I do. I really. Just, I don't like that whole line. Wimpod. Oh my God. Speaking of lines, I don't like. Um. Oh, fine. Rebon B because it's fairy type and actually a steeny grass fairy. I don't remember. But um. Oh my God. But I hate cutie fly steeny. <laughs> um. Ferimosa, another another um, ultra beast. Um. Right. Not combining stuff. Yeah, it's an Ultra Beast. So speaking of not liking um, Pokemon that are like overly humanoid, with, like too many human characteristics, Feromosa is, I mean, you look at it and the, shit, that is a woman. I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. I don't like that. Mudbray, Marini, Dewpiter, Young Goose, Steeny, Cutie Fly. I really don't like Feromosa. Oh my God. God, do I have to pick Bruxish over it? No, I can't. Feromosa over Bruxish. Hey, Nihilego is yet another Ultra Beast, um, which probably means I'm gonna either love it or hate it. Um, yeah, uh, this one's this one's fine. This one, yeah, actually, Nihilego's fine. I had to pull up or a full reminder. So it's Rock Poison type, which is a neat typing, but this is just like a jellyfish. And it it definitely looks alien, but it also looks interesting and like cool as opposed to just being like, hey, let's make it as different and alien as we can and have it be abstract and dumb. So I'm gonna pick Nihilego. I'm gonna pick Nihilego. I actually do like Nihilego. Uh, type of Lele over that though. Delmai's over that. Uh, Nihilego over Lycanroc. Ooh. Or Corio. Brion. Um, sorry, excuse me. Yeah, Brion is the middle evolution for, um, Poplio. Uh, it's fine. Again, I just, I don't really like that whole evolution that much. Mudbray. Gum shoes, Brion over Zerkatry. I don't like Zerkatry. Brion over Kamo. Oh, um, Brion over Grubbin. Brion over Bound Sweet. Togedemaru has gotten a lot of love from the franchise, and I don't get it. Um, maybe I'm missing something, but like, it's just. Like, it's like they just needed another round electric Pokemon, like Pikachu kind of originally was, but I feel like it just misses a lot. It's just boring and forget it. Like, it's forgettable to me. I don't like it. Stuffle. Um. Brion. I still like it more than Zerkatry. Um, why is this scrolling? Did I accidentally. I don't know. I just, was this scrolling the whole time? Anyways, um, I am gonna pick Togedemaru over Kamo'o. Oh crap! I just whatever doesn't matter. Um, 
took a Demaru over Serena, took a Demaru over Trumbeak. Pissimi and Volleyball, um, oh man, Volleyball Monkey, what am I going to call this? Yeah, yeah, Volleyball Monkey. Yeah. I think that's cool. Um, I am going to pick Stuffle over it, but I'm going to pick Simeon over that, over that, over that. Magirna, Kartana, um, Simeon over Kamala. Hey, we did it. We did it. Okay. Okay. So here, let me, um, I'm going to copy this. Uh, I'm going to open a Google Sheet, but I'm going to pause the recording so you don't see a bunch of other stuff that um, is spoilery for the channel. Okay, Google Sheet is open. So this is an order. Um, I'm going to pull up the um, Alolan uh, variants. Yeah, Alolan forms. Here we go. So, um, Alolan Rattata, uh, is, <laughs> I love his little mustache. Um, so he is going to go, you know what, Alolan Rattata is going to go above Incineroar, but below Litten. And then, oh God, this, okay. Uh, Alolan Raticate, I don't like as much as... I mean, that just looks like Raticate. I don't think it's interesting. Um, you should be higher. I think I must have misclicked something that really threw that off. We are going to put Grandpa way higher. We are just going to edit that, to be honest. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so, Alolan Raticate is... I don't care... Um, it's gonna go above Serena. Alright, and then Alolan Raichu. I actually love the surfboard. Um, Alolan Raichu is gonna go above, above Tapu Fini, but below Shinotic. Um... Lolan Sandshrew, I don't care to be honest. I mean, I don't mind Sandshrew. Like, Sandshrew's fine. Um, it's gonna go above Pre Marina. And then, uh, but Lolan Sand Slash, that's neat. I love the, the big glacier stuff. Um, that's gonna go. Above Celestila, below Dartrix. Okay, Alolan Vulpix is cute and a little snowy little guy, and I like I, I I like just regular Vulpix quite a bit. Um, that's gonna go above Chargebug, below. Yeah, yeah. Oops, typo. Okay. Um, Alolan Nine Tails uh, is cool. Um, when I first got back into the Pokemon trading card game, I had a deck built around Alolan Nine Tails, and that was fun, and I liked that. It wasn't good, but um, uh, that's gonna go. That's gonna go above. Star Treks below Necrozma. Alolan Diglett is. Wait, is that just actually just Diglett? No, he's got a little hair. That's right. Alolan Diglett, I don't care. Um, I mean, Diglett is fine, but I just I don't care. Um. gonna go here so above marini below pre marina 
which again, I, I've made it pretty clear I don't care about Green Arena. But a Lolan Doug Trio? Oh my god. Um, a Lolan Doug Trio is going to be the new, looks like number six. I mean, look at all of that hair. Uh, Alolan Meowth and Alolan Persian, I really don't care about. Um, yeah, Alolan Meowth. To be honest, I like Alolan Persian less. Um, Alright, Alolan Geodude. In this line, I don't really care that much either. Um, actually, I really just like the originals way more. Um, yeah, that can be better than Grubbin. No, worse than Grubbin, better than Poplio. Um, Alolan Graveler. Yeah, that's barely better. I actually really don't like Alolan Golem. I don't like that design. Uh, I mean, well, it's kind of neat that it's magnets. I understand what they're going for, but I, I just, I don't like it. Uh, um, that can go below. Uh, it'll go above Alolan Geodude. All right, uh, Alolan Grimer is fine. Um, it's fine. I was gonna go one above Alolan Sandshrew. But Alolan Muck, oh my God, the oil spill look is sad, but amazing. Um, it's gonna go above Solgaleo and below Beware. And then Finally, the elephant in the room, the palm tree, a Lolan executor. Uh, people tend to either love or hate this. I love it. Um, a Lolan executor is going to go above Wishy Washy, below Sandy Gast. Um, and then I do like Lolan Marowak. I like the, the fire spinning take on it. That's pretty sweet. Um, it's going to go above Tapu Lele, below Palisand. All right. We did it. We did it. One R. We ranked all, looks like, 99 Pokemon. And that's not counting, like, like, um... The idea of like Wishy Washy having the solo form and the school form, but but 99 new Pokemon, including regional variants, for um, Sun and Moon. I hope I didn't miss something. I feel like I did, but I don't know what it. Oh, I guess like if it's like Ultra Necrozma and stuff, but like man. Um, so quick rundown. Uh, counting from 99 on up. Broxish, Feramosa, Cutie Fly, Steeny, Ribombi, Young Goose, Wimpod, Pikipek, Jangmo O, Zerkatry, Dewpider, Alolan Persian, Cosmoem, Tsarina, Alolan Radicate, Trumbeak, Alolan Meowth, Togedemaru, Como O, Fomantis, Poplio, Alolan Geodude, Alolan Golem, Grubbin, Bound Sweet, Brion, Alolan Graveler, Gumshoes, Marini, Alolan Diglett, Primarina, Alolan Sandshrew, Alolan Grimer, Lorantis, Tapu Bulu, Araquanid, Silvalli, Hakomo'o, Vikavolt, Piukamuku, uh, Crabrawler, Salazzle, uh, Salandit, Turtonator, Kamala, Passimian. Alright, scroll up a little bit. Find my, find my spot. I lost it. There we go. Kartana, Drampa, Magirna, Decidueye, Stuffle, Mudbray, Tapu Koko, Buzzwool, Comfy, Crabominable, Toracat, Celestila, Alolan Sandslash, Dartrix, Alolan Ninetales, Necrozma, Type Null, 
Rockruff, Mudsdale, Tapu Fini, Alolan Raichu, Shinotic, Chargebug, Alolan Vulpix, Morolol, Oranguru, Incineroar, Alolan Rattata, Litten, Tucanon, Minior, Toxapex, Lycanroc, Nihilego, uh, Oracorio, Delmise, Guzzlord, Solgaleo, Alolan Muck, Beware, Marshadow, Marshadow, excuse me, Tapu Lele, Alolan Marowak, Palisand, Rowlet, Cosmog, Alolan Dugtrio, Galissapod, Wishy Washy, Alolan Executor, Sandy Gast, Lunala, and at the very top, Mimikyu. So, it's my Sun and Moon companion video ranking for my ranking. Um, all of the new Pokemon from the Sun and Moon games. Uh, if you liked this, definitely let me know. Um, editing this is gonna suck because I'm gonna put in a lot of pictures. But once I'm sure I get the workflow in, it'll it'll be fine. But um, if if you thought this was a massive waste of time, also let me know that so I know to not do it for the others. <laughs> But um, yeah, no, I um, this is this is the way I, d I did the ranking for the the um, for the actual 366 favorite games list. I mean, you know, that took a little while, um, and that was you know less than a hundred items. And the more you add, the more exponentially it gets longer. So it's it was a big thing. Um, I'm gonna be doing it again. Um, I'm going to re-rank the list January 1st, once the list is done, the moment the list is, is finished, the list is dead. Well, not really, but um, because I'll have a fresh opinion on all of those games because I'll have I've played them throughout the year, and um, yeah, so some of them might, might shift. Or maybe it'll be a lot closer than I think, and then I'll feel better about the rankings overall. But anyways, this has been Exothermic. It's talking a whole lot at you about a bunch of Pokemon you probably don't care about. Uh, I hope you join me tomorrow on my channel for the, the main rankings or on any other day. Um, this is the first video I've uploaded that is not the rankings of the games, although it's still a ranking of sorts. I hope you enjoyed it. You have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Bye-bye.